as you have sought to ask Morgan to be your wife, and Morgan, you have asked Shay as well to be your husband. What a privilege, what a responsibility. Not only marriage, God's plan, it's a covenant. And when you think about a covenant, today you came in as individuals, in God's eyes you'll leave as, as unity. You'll be united under His authority. And so the covenant means that it's the death of two wheels and it's the birth of one. Matter of fact, the scripture word means betweenness. And I just I love the way this sounds because it says it's agreement in which two parties commit themselves to the rights and the responsibilities that's demanded by the relationship. And so there's demands, there's expectations, there's as the husband. God's word says, Shay, you're to love your wife as Christ loved the church and gave himself for it. And as a wife, you're to submit to his love and his authority. That's God's way. And the beauty of this is, if we do it his way, we'll have a victory. Not only is it a covenant, but it's also a commitment. And I'd like to share with you a couple of other thoughts about this. One is a commitment to endure. In other words, it's not contingent upon circumstances. You're going to have high times. You're going to have low times. But through it all, the, the love that you have for one another is what's going to stand. You're going to be vulnerable with one another. And there's going to have to be times that you're going to have to say, I'm sorry, I blew it. And the other is going to have to say, you know what, I forgive you. The beauty of that is you get to say, I'm sorry. And I love you because you're my wife, you're my husband. But also, it's a, it's a commitment to grow. Today is the beginning, the first day of the rest of your life. You're beginning a brand new journey today. And you know what I can tell about your family, your friends that are here supporting you, that we are excited for both of you. We believe this is God's plan for your life. And we believe that both of you have sought His will and sought Him through prayer. And you're just on the first step of a great journey. And the beauty of this is the Word of God says love is patient, love is kind. And love is not jealous or boastful or proud or rude. It does not demand its own way. It is not irritable and it keeps no record of being wrong. It does not rejoice about an injustice, but rejoices whenever the truth wins out. Love, hear this, love never gives up. Love never loses faith. Love is always hopeful and love will endure through every circumstance. And you remember the day we met, I asked you, why do you want her to be your wife? <laughs> and I asked you, why do you want him to be your husband? And the first word that you said, because I love her. I love her. Love never fails. Love's never going to give up. And that's the beauty of this relationship with you two in Christ. And so, Shay, I want you to repeat these words after me, okay? I, Shay. I, Shay. Thank you, Morgan. Take you, Morgan, to be my wife. To be my wife. To have. To have. And to hold. And to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or worse. For better or for worse. Rich or poor. Rich or poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. I commit to you this day, Morgan. I commit to you this day, Morgan. To pray God's blessings on you. To pray God's blessings on you. To trust God. To trust God. To give me strength. To give me strength. Humility. Humility. Courage. Courage. And support. And support. As we begin our journey. As we begin our journey. Morgan, would you repeat after me? Hi, Morgan. Hi, Morgan. Take you, Shay. Take you, Shay. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or worse. For better or for worse. Richer or poor. Richer or poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. I commit to you this I day, Shay. I commit to you this day, Shay. To pray God's blessings on you. To pray God's blessings on you. To trust God. To trust God. To equip me. To equip me. And bless me. And bless me. With a kind spirit. With a kind spirit. That compliments you. That compliments you. The wisdom. The wisdom. 
and the strength and the strength to support you to support you to trust God to trust God for his guidance for his guidance as we begin our journey as we begin our journey and so as you begin this journey you'll know that you're under his authority and you've got his blessings and you're going to trust him and we've been able to be a part of this special time but when you leave here uh, you want an outward symbol and you've chosen the ring and so at this time we're going to have the rings and we're going to have the ring ceremony i'm glad you could <laughs> okay shay would you place the ring on her left hand on her ring finger and repeat after me with this ring with this ring i thee with i thee with all my love all my love and all my life and all my life i pledge to you morgan i pledge to you morgan in the name of the father in the name of the father the son the son and the holy spirit and the holy spirit morgan would you place his ring on his ring finger? not too tight <laughs> All right. With this ring. With this ring. I thee with. I thee with. All my love. All my love. And all my life. And all my life. I pledge to you, Shay. I pledge to you, Shay. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. The Son. The Son. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. And so through this all, through your vows, through this time together with both of you, it gives me a great joy to be able to pronounce you husband and wife. Shay, you may kiss your new bride.